My name is Calvin Smith of the Red Force Fighting Techniques. Welcome to my video blog, The Fighting Chance, your go-to resource on self-defense. Today, I'll be concluding the series on household items as weapons. Previously, we've gone over the magazine, the towel. Today, will be the broom. Now, most people don't see the broom as a great weapon, but as we go over the anatomy of it, you'll see its usefulness. We'll start with the bristle, the broomstick, and the end. Now, the bristle, most people envision an old lady swatting at someone for defense. But you can also use it against your attacker by sweeping his face and blinding him and, or, and distracting. This way, it allows an opening if you feel confident enough to pursue it or flee the scene. Next is the broomstick. This can be used for choking, pinning, or restraining. Now I'll demonstrate. You have your attacker against the wall. You're applying pressure. Do not totally rely on the broom to do everything. Include headbutts and knees as well. Now, when you're away from the wall and you're engaging in a fight, remember to duck punches, also to keep moving and add kicks in there as well. If your opponent has a knife, create distance in your defense and blocking. Extend your arms. You can go this way. You can go this way. Or you can go this way. It's your choice. Also, make the broom an extension of your body. They throw a th take for instance, they come at you with a thrust. Get out of the way. Use this. Let this do the blocking for you. You can do the same thing from the other side. Now, if the attacker manages to get your, a hold of your weapon and you guys are fighting for the weapon, do not fight for the space. Again, remember that you are a weapon as well and you have other tools. Again, headbutts, stomping, spitting, biting, whatever you got to do to keep control of this weapon, do so. Now, the end piece, great for jabbing or thrusting. Now the primary targets I like to hit when I'm thrusting is anywhere in the face or the solar flex. And the solar flex is a small area in between the chest and the stomach. Now in conclusion, we've covered the anatomy of the broom and its usefulness. The bristles, the broomstick, and the end. Come try a free class and you can become a weapon yourself and learn more. Contact me on my webpage at directforcefighting.com. You can also contact me on Facebook or YouTube. My name is Calvin Smith. Train hard. Be safe.